We have left Fort Bragg and are on our way to Redcrest. Redcrest? I think that's the town up near the Redwoods. And we stopped at an overnight stop near Leggett, California. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. And this place has a river at the bottom of the gorge. So we walk down to it and it looks really nice. Quite lovely. It's kind of nice breaking up drives with stopovers so that we can explore stuff still. This is officially beginning to feel like a, uh, like a travel road trip kind of thing to me because we stayed in Morro Bay for for two months and then we stayed in Fort Bragg for two weeks which is what we've talked about but it feels like we're actually like finally like road tripping finally on the move yeah so tonight we're here in near Leggett California and then we go a little farther north to Redcrest to the Avenue of the Giants in the Redwoods and we're there for five or six days a week a week we're gonna stay in the Redwoods for a week and then we continue north this is cool. I didn't expect our, the place we're staying to look like this. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I want to see it skip. Oh, that spider was crazy looking. Does it have an egg sac attached? It's got like a giant blue bum. Stop messing with the spiders. Oh, it does. It has an egg sac. Or is that its body? I think that's an egg sac. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it alone. Poor stop sp Stop playing with the spiders. Poor spider. All right. This is going to be pathetic. Okay, setting your sights high. Okay, I think we're ready to pull out. I'm gonna to go to the left and go around, I think. Okay.
Hello, everybody. We are up in Humboldt County, just north of Mendocino County in California still, in the Redwoods. I don't know if I've ever been to this county before. We pulled down some side road and it turned into a dirt road, which is good because we have our Subaru. <gasps> Do you want to go back there? Stop. We have to stop. Can we park up here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> park right here. We're ready to get out of here when somebody comes to mug us. Looks like a path too. Is that a path? Oh, it is a path to a magical land. Okay, I have to find out what these are because look at this. It looks like clover, but look at the size of it. Dueling cameras. <laughs> All right, I'll follow you. Okay. I found a nickel. Wow. This is so cool. There's one that goes down there. Look at all this fern. This one's wearing like a tutu. This is not a good place for Sue. <laughs> She's gonna trip on everything. That was the last they saw of her. <laughs> this is paved back here. It used to be a road. I guess it makes sense when you look at, that's the road we came down and there's barricades. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at right here. Center line for the old road. Hole. This is a really big log. He'd be like, you kids, get out of my yard. Get off my lawn. Pick up after your dog. <laughs> Call your mother. Get a haircut. I think this is akin to when you buy your kid a toy and they play with the box. It's probably something in the same vein. That tree trunk was so big I was able to walk all the way through it. That was pretty wild. 
Here, I'll show you. Ready for this? Here we go. Ugh. Now that's a big tree. That is also a big tree. Look at how the uh, root ball has sprouted ferns. Oh yeah. And it looks like fireworks. Doesn't it look like a fireworks display? That is enormous. I feel like sometimes you can't quite get perspective of how big this truly is. So I'm gonna help you out. I'm five foot seven. <laughs> Doesn't even fit in the frame. Look at, there's a sign over here. This is a really big stump. Ryan sees a sign. He likes information if you guys haven't figured it out. I just like to experience it. I like to read the signs too. What am I saying? I'm not gonna make fun of him for that. If my husband didn't like to read signs, we'd be a lot less cool. So this is the old road, which looks like it was abandoned a long time ago, but this does not. Look at, they had a grove sign off the old road. Ryan just got super excited. I love old abandoned stuff. Look at that. There's an old abandoned bridge. And now, <laughs> so cool. Whoa, is the ground collapsing away yeah, from it? Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a flood. 1938 is the numbers on the bridge. Oh, this looks dangerous and awesome. <laughs> Don't stand too close. I don't know what's under this piece. Nothing. Nothing is under it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah, not a whole lot. Wow. A lot of water came through and ruined it. How beautiful. Look at how it's just covered with moss. And the trees are starting to grow through. I just heard something crackling in the bushes. Kind of creepy. But it also might just be the wind knocking branches out of trees because we've uh, seen some of that today. Heard some crazy noises and then big limbs came falling out of the trees because it's been rather windy. Look how fast the clouds are moving. Yeah, it is. Back to the car? Yes, before somebody breaks into it, steals all of our weed. <laughs> and by weed, he means crabgrass. Or camera equipment. Camera equipment, that's what he means. Should come back here with my still camera. It'd be yeah. really neat, like when the sun's going down. Take some cool shots. It's kind of neat. We've, it's only like 
the first day, like two hours after, three hours after we got here. I love this. Look at all the tiny little paths that go off into who knows where. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I will be honest, I wasn't sure what, what we were going to be doing for eight days in the Redwoods because I looked into this area and there weren't very many long hikes. There was like hikes that were easy 0.5 round trip. And I was like, that sounds like you just get out of your car and walk to that rock and come back. <laughs> so I wasn't really sure what we were gonna be doing for eight days in the Redwoods. But after going on this short little jaunt, I have a feeling we're gonna find plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it might rain. I know. Ooh, that would be so cool. It sure looks like it. It's clouding up. Ooh. Rain is gonna make it smell really good in here. It also will make it look really like even greener if that's possible, I have a feeling. And ooh, will rain mean that there will be mist? Maybe, might be fog. Cause that would be so awesome. I love rain. I'm so excited right now. Oh, this is so cool. And just to be clear, we've been here for three and a half hours and we've maybe gone like three miles down the road. So we got a lot of exploring still to do. And I've already found a nickel, so I've made back five cents of whatever it cost for us to be here. That'll fill up our tank of diesel. So we're gonna keep going. Keep exploring, right? Always keep exploring. My camera. Mine. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>